Hey everyone, I'm Natalie and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be cleaning our living room, our kitchen, and our downstairs play area. So I hope you guys can get some cleaning motivation and come along and clean with me. Usually my kids play upstairs in our living room, but we also have down here where I store lots of their toys um, and I try to use down here to rotate the toys with upstairs and as you can see here I actually um, am just rotating a bunch of their toys that I had upstairs so I'm bringing all that down and my son really wanted to play in the ball pit and I just obviously did not want all these balls everywhere in my living room so it kind of works out that I can put them down here and they're kind of confined in this little space. As much as I hate cleaning up all the balls from the ball pit, the fun that they have and the smiles on their face is definitely worth it. So funny story, so I keep all my gift wrapping paper in the closet there and the one day my son wanted to come downstairs and play and I was upstairs making breakfast. Um, so I said, sure, go ahead, go play downstairs. And he comes up and he's like, mommy, mommy, I opened lots of presents. And I really didn't think much of it whatsoever. Um, but later on that day, I went down in the basement and somehow he got a hold of like at least three or four rolls of my wrapping paper. Guys, he unwrapped all my rolls of wrapping paper. There's wrapping paper all over our basement. Um, so I found out really quickly what he meant by um, unwrapping lots of presents. So I try my best to organize all the toys and bins. And here I have a music bin. Um, and then I have animals and anything to do with like farm animals or any type of animals is my middle bin there. And then the bottom bin, I have like a bunch of trucks and cars and uh, vehicles and stuff. So I definitely try to keep my bins organized and then you know, I'm able to rotate those bins upstairs and have like fresh toys for the kids to play with. Now that I'm finished putting all the toys away, I'm just gonna go around, dust everything, and I'm going to do a good vacuum. I haven't vacuumed the stairs in quite a while, so I'm just gonna start off with doing that and then vacuum up the playroom.
Next up, I'm gonna do our living room upstairs. I'm just gonna get these toys put away and fix up the couch and start on this kitchen. It's not too bad, but I just wanna get everything put away. And what can get better than a little dance party with the babes before cleaning up? So here I have bins as well. I try to organize and separate separate them as much as I can. Um, he has PJ Masks and Paw Patrol toys. So I put those all in a bin because he loves playing with those on a daily basis. And then the other bin I just have, I think that's farm animals for them to play with up here. For anyone that has been watching my channel and seen a few videos, you know I love when my couch is all nice and neat, pillows in order, and blankets all folded. I realize there's quite a few crumbs on my couch, so I'm just gonna take my handheld vacuum and just go through all my couch cushions and just get those vacuumed up as well.
Now I'm gonna look what's under this ottoman, and of course there's a bunch of toys. So I'm just gonna pick all those up, and I'm going to show you guys under the couch. I put a blanket there to stop the toys. I don't know why I didn't think about doing this like years ago. Um, I bought so many different toy blockers, and nothing was like sticking. I guess because I have the carpet a little bit underneath. Um, but nothing was sticking onto the carpet, nothing was sticking onto the couch. Um, so anyway, so finally I decided to roll up a blanket um, and a towel under my small couch and it's been working great. So if you guys have problems with um, toys always going under your couch, um, I definitely suggest giving that a try. I'm hoping in my next video, I will switch over decor. Um, I feel like we've just been so busy and I just haven't gotten there yet, but I'm definitely ready to put this winter decor away and start setting up some spring decor in the house. And speaking of my next video, I'm super excited to bring you guys an unboxing for a product for our bathroom. I'm really looking forward to opening up that and um, seeing how that product is going to be working in our bathroom. So stay tuned for next Friday's video on that. Now that I got all the toys put away and everything dusted, I'm going to go around the edges with the vacuum hose and get all those crumbs where it's a little tough for the vacuum to reach. And then I'm going to go through and vacuum and finalize with uh, the mop. always so nice going around seeing how clean it looks and it always cracks me up when I start seeing a mess again. Next I'm going to be doing our kitchen and those containers I just showed you I'm going to be filling up with some snacks and we'll see how they work out. I actually found them at the dollar store and the only thing I don't like about them is the lids don't secure on them. They just kind of sit on the container so i'll see how they go um but i thought they were cute and fun so we're gonna put those in um and then get this kitchen cleaned up Now 
I'm just gonna go through our fridge. We have some leftovers from the week, so I'm just gonna get rid of whatever I know we're not gonna eat. Um, and then I'm just gonna, just kind of organize it a little bit. It's just started getting a little messy. So I'm just gonna go through everything, get rid of anything that expired um, and any leftovers that we're not gonna eat. Pretty much all the dishes I have go in the dishwasher as long as they're dishwasher safe. I keep meaning actually to check if those um, refillable pouches are able to go in the dishwasher, but I keep hesitating on it just because of all like the nooks and crannies of them. Um, I kind of like getting in there with the brushes. So that's the only reason why I don't put those in, but otherwise I try to put everything in my dishwasher. With my kitchen cleans, if I'm not doing a deep clean, I still like to try to go through and wipe down my stove. I feel like it just helps keep it um, clean and not such a pain to scrub off any, you know, boil extra boiled water that runs over, pasta sauce, whatever. Um, I feel like it just makes it easier to um, clean if I keep up with it. I usually don't go through and do cabinets, but I felt like there's so much stuff on them. So I'm just gonna take some spray and wipe them down as well. And I think there's yogurt left over on um, the seat. I don't even know how I missed that the other day, but um, I'm just gonna get everything wiped down here. And oh, this is a toy that the kids dropped and broke that they asked me to fix and I think that's going to be sitting on my counter for quite a while um, to see if I can fix that but um, but yeah I'm just gonna wipe everything down and then get to the floors and then that's pretty much it of this video
Now I'm just gonna rearrange this, get this organized a bit and get these jars in that I got. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put pretzels in this one and um, fruit snacks in the other one and we'll see kind of what works and what doesn't work. I'm a little nervous about the pretzels and again the lid coming off so easily. Um, I'm just nervous that they're gonna try to grab that and pretzels are gonna get everywhere but we'll give it a try and um, I'll let you guys know next video um, how that goes The floor map that I have is a vacuum and mop all in one um, and it came with this solution that you um, put a cap full in and then fill it up with water. I like to just use hot water personally um, so I just let my sink run for a little bit um, and I'm going to mop my floors and at the end of this I'm going to show you how disgusting my water was um, from the mop. Um, and if I had time, I definitely would have done another round, but, um, but yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> um, so anyway, so I'm just going to get that finished and then I will show you guys how dirty this water was. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you guys gave it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate it and also if you guys are looking for more daily motivation for cleaning or mom hacks or even recipes follow me on instagram at natalie.minic i hope to see you guys all there And here's the results of the mop cleaning. Oh, guys, so gross. I even flushed that and rinsed this, added some water, and that was one time. And here's more water for a second time. Guys, there's so much stuff. Oh, I wish I had time to do another mop cleaning. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys got some cleaning motivation and I hope to see you guys soon. Have a great weekend.